Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. I uh, hope you're staying safe and home. Uh, today I'm doing a somewhat shorter video. It's just uh, for me to show you guys essentially a tool that I found this week and that I think is very interesting to look at. Uh, and this tool is a thing that actually helps a lot with the, the one thing that I think is the biggest hassle when trying to get into Void Linux, especially as a new user. And uh, obviously, the most obvious thing is the package management. In the sense that uh, once you ins I, again, I'm not uh, ranting about the XPPS, XDPS is an excellent package manager. Uh, the package manager that comes with Void. And uh, I think it's uh, very efficient. Again, it's very fast, it's very light. Uh, the only thing that um, that I think troubles a, a bunch of new users is the usage of XPPS because uh, instead of having uh, something simple like XPPS install, you obviously do not have a binary called XPPS. Instead, you have a suite of binaries. So if I do a dash here and I try to look, I have a bunch of uh, a dozen or so uh, commands regarding XPPS, and each one of the one of these different binaries, they deal with one different aspect of package management, let's put it this way. So you'll have your usual suspects again. You use the uh, in install subcommands you, uh, to install packages. Obviously you do it with the S flag. Uh, but uh, the thing is that uh, as, a, as a new user, this is not necessarily very evident. This is not very useful. And for example, if you wanted to do a query, PPS query for Emacs. This is obviously not going to work because uh, you also have to give it a special flag that specifies a remote search instead of a local search. So these are kinds of things that get uh, new users uh, kind of um, kind of a, kind of a surprise, and they may end up uh, giving up or doing some stupid uh, stupid things with their installation. So what I found is a tool that essentially simplifies all that and removes the complexity of uh, all these different binaries. And this tool is actually just a, a front-end, a front-end script to XPPS, which we call uh, VPM. So VPM is the Void Package Management Utility, and uh, you don't need to install anything other than VPM. It's essentially a front-end for XPPS. So it's going to use your XPPS, but it's going to show you a different front-end, a different set of commands that are much more like other more classical, I would say, uh, package managers. And uh, what I mean by that is that uh, now you do can give a command like uh, VPN, for example, install nothing else and then install, say, Emacs. For example, you do it like this. And it's going to essentially run the same command you would run on an Emacs, but it's going to make a mapping in between uh, the, the commands that it shows you and the commands that actually uh, that actually get run. So this is very useful if you're a new user, you don't know all the commands, you can just install this and use it in a way that's most likely similar to what you would do on uh, on Aptitude, for example, on Aptiget, if you're on Debian based or Ubuntu based. Um, and uh, again, you also always have the commands at your disposal, so it, it's also a tool that helps you learn after a few types typing VPM, you're going to learn that you have an XPPS install dash S for synchronizing remotely. If I wanted to do a search, it would be similarly simple. It would just be VPM search. And then I look for all the packages that have something to do with Emacs. So you can see that this makes it in such a way that everything is very logical. You can uh, issue updates. You can first of all synchronize repositories like this. And, it's, and there you go, it uh, synchronizes all my repositories. And then once that is done, you can issue the update command. It's going to show you all the flags that it's using the binary. So this is very useful stuff. And uh, most of the things that you could do with the XPPS and the subcommands, you can do somehow through this set of uh, subcommands. You can get information on packages. And notice that you also have a little aliases. So instead of uh, typing, update for example I can type up and this does the same thing 
if I wanted to list the packages I have, I would do an ls. This shows all the packages that I have. You can pipe it into word count and see how many of them you have installed. This is usual, uh, usual package management stuff. So again, this is a very useful uh, script, especially if you're starting out. And I think that if you guys are interested, do take a look. And in order to install it, the installation is also very simple. There are two ways. You could, you could either do, sorry, XPPS query. Uh, you could search it up on the main repository for void, so it's there. Or you could also install it from the source. You can see that it's in this repository. If I bring it over to my, to my web browser, you can come to here. You just issue a git clone. You have to install git, obviously, but then you just git clone this repository. And once that is done, I actually did that before. Git cd documents git vpm. It generates you this little vpm, which is just a bash script. And what you need to do is, in order to use it, you obviously can execute it from the directory, but the simplest way is to add it to somewhere that's on your path variable. So, for example, I know for a fact that my uh, that I have the uh, dot scripts folder that's inside my path. So I'm just going to copy the VPM to that to dot scripts, and then this way I can execute it directly without giving the full path. So these are the things you need to take into consideration. I think that uh, again I cover the most important things, and uh, this uh, this already shows you most of the most interesting um, the most interesting capabilities I would say of uh, this VPM thing. So if you did like it, uh, do like the video, and if you're interested in, in Void Linux stuff, I'm also going to do some videos on Emacs later, most likely. So if you're interested in any of that, again. Uh, do subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot. So thank you guys. That's going to be all.